about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pop Chasers. So let me, before we start the video, it's 4th of July, guys. It's the last day to support the sale at TigerFitness.com. 15% off at PalmChasers.com for the subs, guys. Be sure to support your brother. I got those Cuts FTS Fat Burners in stock. Intra Pump BCAs. And the pump and grind pre-workout, guys, I cannot figure out which flavor is my favorite. We got the pineapple mango, we got the sour gummy, and we got the pink lemonade. Let me tell you, all three are hitting. You will not be disappointed. So be sure to go to tigerfitness.com and support that. And if your orders are over 75 bucks and over 150 bucks, you get some free gifts. And they also have reward points, guys. These reward points are amazing. They're giving two times the amount of reward points. So be sure to head down to TigerFitness.com and support that site and support your brother. And you know you already see it. I'm rocking that about that life. It's going to be at BeastMode316.com very soon. I'm going to start with three colors. So be looking out for a date. Once the manufacturers let me know what's good, I'll be sure to let you guys know what's good. I got one more sample coming. I want to add a pocket to the front. If the sample is just the way I need it, I'm going to do a launch with three colors. Be sure to support that, guys. And, of course, I'm doing a sale at BeastMode316.com. Now, this sale is going to be all week long, okay? BeastMode316.com, 20% off. And PalmChasers.com, be sure to get those wrist wraps, lifting belts, lifting straps, 30% off. The checkout code for both websites is FREEDOM. And that sale is all week long. Be sure to go to BeastMode316.com and PumpTitions.com. Support your brother. All right, so today, guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about what I've learned from bodybuilding in your 30s from bodybuilding in your 20s. Now, fun fact, I started lifting weights and taking this as a serious lifestyle around the age of 19. I could have started younger. That's a whole other story for another video. Maybe I'll tell that story. But I started taking this shit serious around the age of 19, right? And I've been living ever since. Okay? So I've learned some things along the way. And let me tell you this. You know how a lot of older people tell you things like, you understand when you get older. Well, let's just say this. I'm older now, and I understand. But guess what? I understand some people were just keeping it real and they were telling the truth, 100% truth. And some people allow their insecurities and their weak mindset to allow them to make excuses. And they projected those excuses upon me and tried to state those excuses as facts. You know, one of those excuses is heavy weights will fuck up your joints. No. Terrible fucking form will fuck up your joints. At the end of the day, there's a difference between lifting weights and resistance training. If you're lifting weights with the proper form, executing proper movement patterns, you're not going to have a whole bunch of aches and pains because at the end of the day, weights, heavy, the, the word heavy is relative to the person. What's heavy for me may not be heavy for you and vice versa. What's heavy for you may not be heavy for me. The word heavy is relative. It all comes down to your form and execution. If you're doing a whole bunch of jerking and a whole bunch of bouncing, a whole bunch of momentum in general, you're going to have things coming in and being overtaxed that shouldn't be. If you're bouncing the weight, that's not all muscle using. You know, that's not all muscle. Your tendons and your joints are more involved than they should be. Your tendons and joints are already going to be involved. But if you're doing a whole bunch of bouncing and jerking, your tendons and joints are going to be more involved than they should be, which can cause a whole bunch of inflammation and a whole bunch of pain, possibly even injuries. So keep that in mind. A whole bunch of things that people told me in the past, some things were true. And again, some things were just excuses being made, and those people tried to project those excuses on me as facts. 
And at the end of the day, I'm older now, I'm wiser now, and I see things a whole lot clearer. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to give you four things that I've learned, okay? I could give you more, but I don't want to make the video too long. So what I'm going to do is give you four today, and who knows, maybe I'll give you some more in the future. But I want you guys to do this. I want you guys to comment below, especially my guys that are over the age of 30. Especially the guys that have been lifting at least 10 years. If you have at least 10 years in this game, comment below. Let us know some things that you have learned. Your comments might help some people out. So number one, one thing that I've learned along the way is those little aches and pains don't go away as fast as they used to. You know, we've all done it to some degree, bounced the weight here and there, jerked the weight here and there. And even if you're using good form, you can have some overuse. You know, you can have a little overuse, you know, overusing the joints, you know, not taking recovery into account can cause you to have some pains as well. There's several reasons for your pain. It's not always, you know, bad form. So anyway, little aches and pains, like little shoulder pain, little elbow pain, little wrist pain, little knee pain. You might notice as you get older, these little aches and pains don't go away as fast as they used to. So with that said, I like to make recovery a top priority making sure I'm getting my rest. You know, there was times in my life where I could function on three hours of sleep daily for a whole month straight and my workouts would not miss a beat. You know what I mean? Those days are pretty much over. There, I, I, actually, to, <laughs> I actually, sometimes, I even look forward to my rest days. There are some times where I skip my rest day and keep going because I'm feeling good, but there are some times when my rest day come, and I'm like, man, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and have this rest day. And I don't even feel guilty about it. There were times where I have a rest day, and I just feel like, shit, like, I want to go train. But those days are over. When I have a rest day, I really enjoy my rest days because I know I need them. You know what I mean? So I notice those little aches and pains, they don't go away as fast as they used to. So with that said, make form a top priority. So make form a top priority. You know, my form was already pretty good as a trainer, but I really, I'm really conscious about my form because I know for a fact, my little wrist pains, they can last for two weeks straight. Especially my lower back when I'm hitting my legs or when I'm squatting, or I'm using things like the leg press. A lot of you guys don't realize you can fuck up your back leg pressing because when you come down too low or too fast or both too low and too fast, you can cause your lower back to flex at the bottom before you push the weight back up. And that spinal flexion with that load coming from that angle can give you some back pain. So again, I'm very conscious of my form. I try to make recovery a top priority. And try to warm up really good before you train. Number two. Now this can actually be linked in with number one. But I'm going to go ahead and call this number two. Okay. Number two. Any abuse that you give to your body, you will pay for that shit later. Let me say that one more time. You will pay for any abuse that you give your body later, one way or another. Let me use myself as an example. I have a bulging L4 and L5 disc. Now, I actually hurt my back, believe it or not. I was rack pulling one day. And I was rack pulling with like five, I think it was like five plates with no fucking belt, by the way. And um, that's when I felt a sharp pain in my lower back. But actually, guys, that was just the last straw. You know how they say it's the straw that broke the camel's back? You know, uh, like I said about the leg press, you know, years of coming down too fast on the leg press. Years of leaning too far when I, when I was doing back squats, leaning too far forward on my back squats. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, jerking on my rag pulls. You know, just years of abusing my body, eventually my lower back had enough. And that's not the only form of abuse. You know, people who abuse steroids, you know, taking a whole bunch. You know, I'm not one of these guys that's gonna say, hey, steroids are the devil. And if you take steroids, you're gonna fuck yourself. But, you know, there are ways to abuse this shit. People that are very young, I'm talking about teenagers, early 20s, are taking a shitload of steroids and other things. And to some degree, 
you know, they, their pops be taking years off their life. To some degree, they're going to have consequences for their actions later for the shit that they're doing today. So any form of excess abuse you're doing to your body in your younger years, understand you're going to pay for that shit one way or another. Because from the day you're born to the day you die, you're going to live in the same body. From the day you're born to the day you die, you're going to live in the same body. So take care of that body. You know, unless you go and get veneers or some shit like that, you're going to have the same fucking teeth in your mouth. Take care of your teeth. You know, take care of your fucking body. You only get one. Don't use up and abuse up your body in your younger years because I noticed and I had that mindset at one point in my life. We don't think for tomorrow. We only thinking for today. But again, understand, until the day you die, this is the body you're going to be living in. You know, I don't care what kind of house you live in. I don't care what state you live in. Hell, you can live in your car. But let me tell you this. You really live in your mind. You live in your mind, and this is your house as well. This is your temple. They say your body is a temple. What is a temple? A temple is a building. This is a mobile home. Do not use up and abuse up your body in your younger years because one day you're going to look back and be like, damn, I was tripping. Now look at me. I'm all injured. I'm all fucked up. I'm all in pain. You can't even do the simplest shit. The simplest movements give you pain. Because you abuse your body. I know people, they can't even do tricep press downs without having to wrap up their elbows. But I know people that can't even do push ups without pain because their shoulders is practically bone on bone. Do not use up and abuse up your body in your younger years. Again, you're only going to get one body in this lifetime, okay? Number three, guys. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can relate. I'm not speaking for everybody, of course, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys relate. I've noticed as I've gotten a little older, my metabolism is not as powerful and as fast as it used to be. You know, there will be times in my younger years, guys, especially my early 20s, I could have full-blown cheat days, not cheat meals, cheat days. You know, I'll pretty much eat simple and clean Monday through Friday, and I'll cheat the weekend, you know, and enjoy myself, you know. And the shit will have little to no effect on me. I'm back to business on Monday. I'm back to business on Monday like the shit never happened. Now, if I were to cheat Saturday and Sunday and have full-blown cheat days, that shit sticks to me. It'll take me damn near half the week, half the week to get my weight back to normal. You know what I mean? And not only that, I'm bloated and gassy. So what I do is I still cheat, guys, but I'm a little more strategic about it. You know, from time to time, I have fast. If anybody watch my vlogs, you already know this, right? But uh, from time to time, I have fasted workouts, do some fasted cardio sessions to build me an appetite. You know, just build me a little appetite up, you know, and try to go too crazy. Because if I go too crazy, like my younger years, it's going to take me damn near half the week to get my weight back to where it was before I started cheating. So, you know, of course, I still have my margaritas. I still have my cheat meals and stuff like that. But as my body is changing, I know how to adjust. And like I said, fasted workouts on my cheat days really help me tremendously. Even if it's a rest day, you know, I try to do some uh, fasted cardio in my office. Or I go to the gym and do a little hippie full body workout, very light weights. Now keep in mind, this is when I'm trying to stay lean. Now when I'm bulking or some shit like that, I don't give a fuck. You know, when I'm bulking, I let loose. That's just me. Or when I'm just maintaining, I don't trip too much. But if I want to keep a certain level of leanness, I can do a nice fasted workout. And I'm very strategic about my cheat days. And like I said, guys... Just because the metabolism gets a little slower, it's not the end of the world. To me, the way I see it, I see it as I just got to have a little more discipline. That's all. You know, when I was dieting in my early 20s, 
I can do two to three days of cardio. And as long as my diet is on point, I'm getting very lean. Now, I got to do a little more cardio. You know, five or six days of cardio. If not, I'll have to damn near starve myself to get lean. You feel me? So I just got to adjust. You know, when I was younger, my metabolism was fiery and powerful. You know, I can, I can get very lean. I'm talking very lean to where you can sit down and I can't pinch nothing on my abs on like two or three days of cardio. But now, in order for me to get that lean, I have to either do a very low carb diet or do some cardio. And I prefer to have a nice, decent diet that I can stick with and just do a lot of cardio. I much rather do cardio six days a week versus starving myself because I know for a fact that willpower will eventually burn out. You know, you can only stay on a starvation diet so long before you finally had enough. So for me, once I know that my metabolism started to get a little slower, it wasn't as fast as it used to be, I just figured out little ways to adjust. So like I just said, on cheat days, I try to have a fasted workout and wait until I'm hungry to eat. You know what I mean? That really helps me out a lot. Just, you know, just, just adjust. And when I'm dieting, you know, I know that I have to do a little more cardio to get very lean. If not, I have to damn, I have to damn near starve myself to get very lean. Again, guys, just got to learn how to adjust as your body makes little changes. Okay? That's all. No big deal. If there's a wheel, there truly is a way, okay? If there's a wheel, there truly is a way. Number four, last but not least, number four. Guys, one thing we have to get through our head and understand completely is everything is energy. Now, when we say everything, we don't say everything is energy but this. No, everything is energy. That includes the metaphysical mind, okay? Even your body produces energy. If you don't believe me, you can go look it up for yourself. There are labs where they put devices on people's heads and they tell them to think about something. And as they're thinking, as they're thinking about things, there are wave patterns moving. Waves are energy. Your central nervous system has electricity running all up and down your spine. We are energy-based creatures, guys. Everything is energy, including you including your thoughts. With that said, you got to make sure you take care of your mental health. Because we know due to the universal law of polarity, there are opposites. And negative thoughts and feelings and positive thoughts and feelings can manifest themselves and affect your reality one way or another. You have to take care of your mental health. And one thing I've learned as we get older, we tend to have extra responsibilities on our plate. Naturally, as we get older, when I was 19, 20, 21 years old, I didn't have the responsibilities that I do now. You know, as we get older, life happens. You know, we tend to have careers and everybody does not have careers that they love. You know, people tend to have marriages that are not doing well or doing well. Again, law of opposites. You know, I have had clients, guys, that are dealing with divorces and told me, can I freeze their accounts because they're just going through so much stress. The wife's trying to take the kids from me. She's trying to take everything from me. Can I just freeze my account? I'm just going through it right now. I've had clients telling me I'm getting ready to bury my mom. I got too much going on right now. Can we just freeze my account for a little bit till I get my shit together? We tend to have things on our plate, guys. As we get older, naturally, a lot of things are within our control and a lot of things outside of our control. But the one thing you can control is your mind. Because stress, guys, especially negative feelings, negative thoughts, negative emotions, they can affect your hormones. And if they can affect your hormones, they can affect your mood. They can affect your metabolism. Guys, there are stress-related illnesses. This has been scientifically proven. There are stress-related illnesses. Stress is like toxic to the body. Keep in mind, if we're electrical beings, right, and you having negatively charged feelings and emotions, well, guess what? 
that shit is charging your blood cells. You literally have these electrical charges, these waves flowing through your bloodstream. That shit is toxic. That shit can kill you young. Stress is a silent killer. We don't talk about mental health enough, guys. So one thing I can tell you is this. I'm not gonna get into that right now, but meditation, guys, has helped me tremendously. I'm not trying to get to the hippie shit right now, but let me tell you, meditation has helped me tremendously. And maybe we'll talk about that in the future, because let me tell you guys, if you ain't got your mind, you ain't got shit. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how great your physique is. There are celebrities that have killed themselves with millions of dollars in the fucking bank. Don't think for a second things outside of yourself can make you whole. You have to be complete within. You have to take care of your mental health. So do a good job about managing your mental health, but not also managing your mental health. Try also doing a better job at managing your time as well. Because like I just said, guys, as we get older, we tend to have a little more responsibilities. We tend to have a little more stress in our life. So this is very crucial to manage your time because time management will give you more wiggle room to take care of things. Time is everything. I now understand why those super rich people, they're really into watches because guys, time really is everything. So not only do a good job at uh, managing your mind, you know, your mental health, uh, managing your stress levels, but do a very good job at your time management. If you're all over the place, that can stress you out as well. Do a good job of scheduling yourself, managing yourself, even write down a journal. You know, try to work on waking up at a certain time. If you wake up earlier, you're able to take care of things sooner and you have a little more time to make for yourself. I know a lot of people, guys, they're so overwhelmed and stressed out that they don't even have time for themselves. So work on managing your stress levels, make your mental health a priority, and do a better job, do a good job and managing your time, you must manage your time. Because if you don't manage your time, how will you have time to work out? How will you have time to meditate? How will you have time to, 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 to work on relationships in your personal life? How will you have time to work on things with your children or work on your business or work on your career if your time isn't managed properly? So that's four things, guys, that I've learned from training in my early 20s to training in my 30s. And I truly hope this video has helped somebody out. And again, be sure to comment below and let me know what you guys think. And of course, guys, this is the last day of the sale at TigerFitness.com. Be sure to support your brother. And be sure to tag me on Instagram, tagging me, you know, representing and using the products, guys. It really helps me out a lot, all right? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe, and buy 30 of them bitches minimum. Because that boy Bruno, you know he needs those treats. Peace.